for P3-24, kind of have that, um, those two elements that we can divide. And this, uh, this rib going through the back is kind of, um, uh, need to decide how we're going to, uh, to manage that. This would be a good one to, uh, to introduce the, um, uh, the planes. And we'll do more with, uh, with planes later on, but, um, either the, uh, the from and to or offsetting a plane or just making it so that the, um, the front plane passes through that, um, that segment. So maybe we'll do the, uh, stay with the from and to. So this is a metric part. So in the front plane, I'm just going to make the bottom corner at the origin. And we'll kind of do that L shape. And I missed a, a segment there, so drag that back in. I'll go back into select, and since this line didn't go vertical, we'll highlight it and add the relation. So width-wise, we are at 60. And then the depth is 35. We have a height of 35 on the leg. And thought I clicked, oh, could not be uh, created. Well, let's try that again. I may not have placed it far enough out. So placing the dimension, and then the overall height is 65. Okay, and then let's go ahead and extrude. And this is going to have a depth of 75. Okay, I'm going to wait on the uh, the rib geometry. And we'll open up a sketch on the, uh, the side. So this will end up being contour and region. And I'm going to pick the two edges. Uh, we can go with three edges. And we'll convert the entities in. Well, I need to do a control eight since um, that didn't quite uh, work as expected. All right, so basically wanted to make sure that I'm sketching in the orientation I think I'm sketching, and control eight is an easy way to rotate. So either I didn't quite select what I thought I did, or well, we'll have to figure it out. All right, so a circle. with a radius of 15 will give me a diameter of 30 and its height is 30 okay and we have the endpoint to the center of the circle is 20 and then, since we're not given a dimension, kind of the uh, the assumption is that the line passes through the center of the circle. So when I bring those two points together, or make them coincident, the line and the center point of the circle, well, that still didn't quite um, get, oh, there we go, we have another 10 millimeter dimension. And then that kind of generates the geometry out. So we can trim if we uh, if we want to. Um, most of the time I would leave this as contour and region, but we haven't. Uh, I haven't done much in the way of trim, so still preference is trim to closest so that I can pick and pick. All right. So basically, what that does is reduces the contour to a single. Um, uh, contour to a single contour and region and then we can extrude and this is going to come out uh, 40 millimeters all right so doing the math 100 minus 60 is not too bad but if that was a little more complicated this is another place where I could use offset from surface so when I pick my surface and we're going to give it 100 millimeters and I need to reverse the direction, then I get my preview. All right, so what I'm saying is that from this face, 
uh, that we sketched on, we're actually starting the extrusion from this face and coming out 100 millimeters. And this is different from the from, because if I was to tell it from this face, the sketch would move over and then come over 100 millimeters and we would have it included on the back side of the part as well instead of just um, coming away from that, uh, that geometry. All right, so if we look at this as a, um, as a from and to extrusion, I can sketch on the front face. And the rib, uh, I did a couple different ways to approach the rib. And the rib would typically um, be something that is already in position. So for this to work, I need to close it off. And this is going to be a, uh, a closed uh, entity. So I will convert the, uh, the two edges. And then in its features, extrude boss base. Its from is 30 millimeters. So I'm offsetting 30 millimeters. We'll reverse the offset, reverse the direction, and then its thickness becomes 10 millimeters. And that will create the, the rib. And then of course we're merging the results. So pretty much with the from, I'm picking that sketch up and saying start here and then continue on another 10 millimeters. If I was to reverse it, depending on the, um, on the combinations and what I needed, I could get uh, those different solutions. All right, so that puts the rib in between. So let's go ahead and suppress, which treats it as if that geometry did not exist. And we'll create a, uh, an offset plane. So under the features and the reference geometry, I have a plane. And we have three references. We don't always have to use all three references. But if I want this to be a rib, then I'm going to pretty much need to have this plane intersect at a convenient point. So uh, if I flip the offset, that puts it interior to the uh, to the part. And this is one of those cases because it is a distance, it's assumed to be parallel to the face and the combination of the distance should be the only selection that I need. All right, so then on the plane I can open up a sketch and for the rib we would typically have a open one open uh, contour and we're going to accept the yeah, accept the sketch and it's still highlighted sketch 4 and highlighted in blue and when I go into the rib command it's asking me do I want it to be um, mid across that uh, that sketch go to one side or go to the other side so in this case we're defaulted till 10 mil 10 millimeters the direction arrow is showing it down. I do have the option to go normal to the sketch. And let's go ahead and see what we get. Right, so pretty much the uh, the same thing as before, except um, the sketch is uh, and the rib. Oh, I didn't need to pick that one. I was going to hide it. There we go. So hide. And then we go back to control seven and that gives us our shape. So it's um, a couple of different ways to, uh, to approach these uh, offset geometries. So we'll save this one out. And be ready to go on to the next.